All right, to start with, you just basically just mark the length that you want to strip. Now, you've got to use this tool. And to start with, we'll use slot number one. And we'll have the cable sitting in slot number one. So basically, the cable sits on its side. So we feed the tool through. Pick a particular length. Alright, so we sit the cable in slot number one, as you can see, and we close close this. Make sure the cable sits in nicely because you'll you'll know because the um, the uh, stripper will close nice and tightly on it. You grab hold of the stripper like so, and then just pull it. That removes the um, the outer jacket from the sides of these strength members to make it a little bit easier to, to remove the strength members as you go along. Next operation, you then grab the cable, lay it on its flat side into the tool and lay it into slot number two. This little this part of the stripping process, you don't need to strip very much. We recommend normally about eight centimeters. You can do a little bit more or a little bit less, whichever is easier for you, and then just close the tool up again and pull it. Now, as you can see, that's stripped on one side. We now have to strip, do the same thing on the other side as well. So you do the operation again, flip it over so that the unstripped side is facing down, close up the tool, and strip it again. And we're done with that. And this is what you end up with. So now you can grab the two strength members and you separate them. Alright, so you just carefully just separate the strength members all the way down. Okay? And then you just cut those strength members off with a pair of cutters. When you're, when you're pulling it apart, try not to bend these strength members too much because then they have a tendency to snap. And then it makes, that, makes it a little bit more difficult to um, remove them. Cut the other one off. And this is what you're left with. This little small section here We've now got to remove it because it'll be difficult to strip because it's way too thin. So just cut it off around here. So you end up with this. Now, you look at where the two grooves are, the, the grooves from where the um, strength members were sitting, and you cut along there. So not, not along this face where the printing is, along this face here. So I'll just go ahead and start cutting that. You can, use an, you can use side cutters or you can use a pair of scissors. Cut a reasonable amount, enough so that way you can grab the two ends and separate them. That should be alright. And now all you do is you just pull them apart all the way down to where you stripped. Now, sometimes the, the fibre will just spring straight out, sometimes it stays in here, so all you do then is just move this around and get the fibre to spring out. Then you just, you can, um, at this point here you can just break that and then just separate the fibre. And there you've got your fibre exposed, and you just cut these two lengths off. Cut them short, making sure that you don't cut the fibre. And then you've got your fibre exposed. Then all you do is you just slide your furcation tube on. As well. So you grab your furcation tube from the kit.
This is the bit that everybody laughs at. Feed your fibre through the percussion tube. Before you do that, one thing I like to recommend to everybody, just gently put your fingers over the tube and just gently run, over, run your fingers over the top of the tube. If you feel any kinks in that at all, throw it in a bin because you're not going to be able to get the fibre through the kink. So then you just start feeding the fibre through the furcation tube. And if you cut the right, if you cut the, um, if you strip the fibre at the correct length, it should be sticking out of the furcation tube. In this case, it's not. Then what you do is just press, press this onto the end of the cable and give it five to seven twists till it gets nice and tight. That locks it in. So that's nice and tight. Normally if you strip the correct length, as you can see there's a little bit, I probably should have stripped a little bit more, but normally you'll have a little bit of fibre. It'll be probably probably about that much fibre sticking out of it. Okay? And then you can just put your um, connector on the end of it. That's it, done.